Well, the Friday the 13th nightmare start turns into a six unanswered dream comeback for the Huskies. Hello and welcome inside the studio for your post game report. I'm your host, Joe Scarella. We're going to roll the highlights on how this game unfolded, starting things off in the first period as the Huskies would get back on the ice for their home opener. St. Cloud State trying to get it going on their Olympic size sheet. Mikey Asamont back in the lineup after missing game one. The Huskies yet to give up a goal on the young season, but it didn't take very long for Alaska to end that streak. Kyler Hope cleans up the rebound for his first collegiate goal and not exactly the homecoming the Huskies were dreaming of already trailing one to nothing. The boys in blue would keep on pushing just over two minutes later. A turnover leads to junior Riker Lee finding a lane and finding twine just like that. The Huskies trail by two. The Huskies on the power play trying to change their first period fate, but a shorthanded chance for the Nanooks and Troy Van Teetering able to elevate the puck and extend the lead. It's now, yeah, three goals. The hometown squad desperately needing a spark and they get one in the form of a Paling. They were on fire, the Palings today. Nick Paling gets his first tally on the board in the home opener, and that's how this first period would conclude. The Huskies come out in the second frame trailing by two and needing a jolt. Things starting to heat up early in the period. The Nanooks taking the puck to the net and the decor of the Huskies taking exception to that. Robbie Jackson, he would move his feet and he would draw a penalty. He gets tripped up. That sends Austin Deeth to the box and the Huskies, well, they would go back to the power play. The man advantage unit with chances but unable to capitalize on their second go round of the night and the Nanook lead is still a pair. Man advantage for the Huskies on a brief four on four. The power play working the perimeter and it gets it. They get it to the guy running the show, Jimmy Schultz, with a laser beam, beats Martinson over the shoulder, and we've got a game. The Nanooks trying to strike back. Just seconds later, Lear looking for his second of the game, putting on the moves, but just but Smith stones him cold. We head into the third period. Huskies came out with steam in the third period, doing everything they could to put pressure on the Nanooks. Five minutes of pressure, but nothing would fall until Jack is Sean. Fires one at the net, and the biscuit finds the tape of Nick Paling. We talked about him all night long. He sends this one home. The Huskies come all the way back from down three. We got a tie game. Emotions on high from both teams. As we reach the midway point of the second period, Will Borgen, he would take a shot into the boards, and it's a five-minute time. Sin bin time rewarded to Taylor Munson. Huskies would go on a four-on-three for just over a minute. Robbie Jackson sets Jimmy Schuld up, who shows how deadly he is on the power play, whistling one from a horrible angle, but it's the go-ahead goal. Robbie Jackson, while well, his ties were good and so is his scoring, he comes down the slot, whistles one over the top, clinking the iron on a gorgeous shot. Huskies extend the lead. Jack is shot, we heat attack on the empty netter, and that's how this one would finish. Let's take a look at the stats from this game. St. Cloud State getting the victory 6-3 coming from behind. Shots on goal dominant for the Huskies as they controlled that category all night, 45-25. Penalty 42 to 25, excuse me. Shots on goal, St. Cloud State would roll. Penalties, the Huskies would go to the power play five times, only able to capitalize on two of them. And the Alaska Fairbank Banks and the Nooks were 0 for 2 as they continued to struggle. We're going to go down and listen to what Coach Motzko had to say. We just have so many guys that are, that they're, they're, they're learning. That's all. You know, we, we're, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, we're not, it's gonna take us a month, you know, to figure out how hard you gotta battle and, and, and play a little smarter and, and uh, um, where we give pucks away a little bit. And then, then your shift's so hard for you. Mm. And those are things that uh, will come in time. And, and thank goodness we, we dodged a bullet tonight. Well, apparently Friday the 13th hasn't been a nightmare for the St. Cloud State Huskies. Get this, in program history, they are 3-1 and one on this date. Turn out the lights, the party's over. The Huskies win 6-3. We'll see you next time here on Fox Sports North.